I've heard a rumor that you can use a smart oven to cook food that you get from Trader Joe's. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I picked up some meals from Trader Joe's, frozen meals like this, tempura shrimp. That's because I've heard that the smart oven that I got with Tavala is programmed to accept all the Trader Joe's items here. So I thought we would actually see if the oven will recognize the meals and if they're any good. It's tempura shrimp with soy dipping sauce. Looks pretty good. I took it right out of the freezer. And I think the barcode maybe is scannable. I don't see any QR codes or anything. So I thought I would just try to scan it here and see if it recognizes it. Well, I'll be, look at that. It puts 20 minutes on the clock. And I will tell you to bake, it says preheat oven to 400 and then bake for about eight to 10 minutes until golden on each side. So I'm kind of wondering because it won't let me preheat if this will work. So I'm just gonna get these laid out on some aluminum foil here and see if this will cook right. Got the shrimp laid out here, not touching, as the instructions say. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it in here. And then, it does come with some sauce, which I'm gonna defrost. And then, let's see if this sucker works. Okay, so the timer says done, and I can smell the shrimp already, and they do smell pretty good. And they look pretty good too. You can hear them crackling a little bit here. Now it's kind of funny because if you preheat your oven to 400 degrees and then cook them for six to eight minutes, that's all it's supposed to take. But in this oven, I'm not sure what the cycle is, but you know, it cooks it, maybe steams it or whatever. It takes 20 minutes in total, but I don't have to think about it. I don't have to check on it. It sends me an alert on the app when it's done and they look fantastic. Now it does come with some soy dipping sauce here, which I've gone ahead and let thaw out while I've been cooking it. But I'm actually just going to tear one of these open and try it without the dipping sauce first, just to see you know, what my thoughts are on how these cook. So here goes nothing. Just thought I'd cut it up here, see what it looks like inside. I mean, go for the middle part here. That's where it's gonna be most important to make sure that everything's cooked. Looks pretty good. I tell you what, that is darn good. Yeah, it's hot, but the shrimp inside is moist and tender. And the outside, it's crispy. I don't know how they do it. But man, the brilliance of this is that you just pop in the food, the meal that you get, you scan the box and it cooks it to perfection. This is pretty awesome. So one successful test does not make an experiment, but this Joe's Diner Mac and Cheese should be a little more difficult. This is frozen solid. It is a block of cheese and it is a frozen block here. It's got the barcode on that side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see, scan. Look at that, 38 minutes. That's certainly promising. I'll tell you what, on the instructions, it says to bake it, but preheat the oven. So what I like about this is I don't think you have to do any of that prep work. You know, the preheat, it kind of goes through the whole process of warming it up and so pretty cool. So I'm just gonna, trust the oven here and we'll see if it works. <laughs> All right, says it is done. Take a look at that. Looks pretty darn good. Had a little cheese spillage there, but I'm not gonna blame any of the technology for that. But what you can see here is, again, it's just the fact that it's kind of a thoughtless process to be able to just scan it and put it in. Now, a couple things that I will say here is it looks a little bit like some of the macaroni on this side, on the top towards the edge, uh, it looks a little dry, but I don't think that'd be any different than if you baked it. You can see how the cheese is done. Mm. <laughs> so, look at this, man. I mean, steamy, hot, I will tell you. Mm. Oh, that's hot. Pretty good. It's definitely a little bit more of a gourmet mac and cheese than kind of your standard craft or box mac and cheese. But it, what I'm surprised here is that they have figured out with the smart oven how to cook it so that you don't need the preheating. You don't need to wait. You don't need to um, <clears throat> check in on it. You just pop it in, scan the box, and it cooks and it works. So, yes, does the Tavala smart oven work with Trader Joe meals. So far, so good, and I've been happy with them all. 
it's really convenient. I don't know. I might shop at Trader Joe's more often now. So, hey, if you want to pick up this, if you want to try out Tavala, you can get a really good deal. You and I will both get a discount on your first order. And if you have a Trader Joe's around you, you can extend the utility of the oven here with local grocery shopping too. Don't need to order those meals online. Pretty awesome. Peter Ron Panda, out.